afternoon, we're at Team Tech. I am Jeremiah, I'm a CE major. On the far left, we have Jesse, who is a double E major, and then we have Chance and Ryan, who are both CE majors. Our project was to create an installation tool for microwave backhaul. The uh, problem we were presented with is the current, the current setup is you have a user on the ground that is connected to the radio, who then feeds information to the person that is up, that is up there, manipulating the directional antenna to get the perfect signal straight. This is similar if you've ever installed satellite TV in your house. You have one person inside watching the TV, the other person outside trying to get that perfect signal strength and just adjusting it, waiting on a response from the person. So we, we created a device that was able to connect directly to the radio while the installer is up there without carrying a laptop or anything else. We started our first semester off creating a prototype using an MSP430 launch pad and stackable booster packs. We then pushed this semester to make our own PCB uh, we installed all the parts from our prototype on our PCB. We were then also able to enclose this into a small compact self-powered device so that it is durable, durable and rugged for the climber to carry up with him. It connects to a Ethernet port on the back of the uh, exalt radio and then passes the information along such as the signal strength to an Android device, um, which is like I said, the climber is then able to get instant feedback on his signal strength. The only issue we had was the radio, where the limitation of how often the radio updates its signal strength. Other than that, our device keeps up with that, and we're able to, in real time, feedback the information, allowing the installer to properly adjust the antenna. Uh, this was a success. We have a fully working prototype out, out at our, our table. Any questions? We have three minutes for questions. How did you come up with this project? Uh, we talked to somebody that works at an exalt, an engineer that is a uh, friend of the former professors here. There was an issue that they presented that they had that did not sponsor our actual project. So you're using just signal strength? Correct. Why not the radio or any other radio parameters? Because any of the other radio parameters can be adjusted or checked on the ground. When the installer is up on the tower trying to adjust, the main thing we were told they were looking for is specifically signal strength because they're trying to get, they give the general direction using a compass or uh, into like Google Maps or something, and then they, they want to get that perfect signal strength. So these are always point to point, right? Correct. So is there a thought of a similar system on the person on the other end there trying to communicate with each other? Uh, or do you know? From, how, from what we were told is the one antenna is mounted, and then a climber goes up to the second location and, and dials in the signal strength the best they can at that location, and then goes back to the original location. Because you have to pay for the, the climber go up the tower, which from what we were told is not a cheap, so you don't, not a, a cheap expense, you don't have two climbers up at once. We still have um, two minutes for questions, so I mean, we have questions from the general audience as well, it doesn't have to be just for the judges. What do you think was the most difficult part of uh, designing the PCB? Uh, the hardest part was actually trying to get it manufactured because we Trying to get manufactured from the U.S. brings a very high cost, and having it manufactured out of the country, uh, you run into potentially customs and the weight. So, finding out what size components we can use, where we can hand assemble the, the PCB once it was finished. And so, where do you have it manufactured? Uh, we did it ourselves. We had the boards printed by a company called Boy Safety Park, which they take a bunch of board orders from the day, put it together, and they should do the PCB. We then ordered uh, stencils and used a mylar stencil and solder fix, stenciled it on, and then cooked it in the skillet. Mm. <laughs> so you say it's rugged, have you actually done some ruggedization testing? Uh, we dropped the, it's a 3D printed box. Uh, we dropped the box a couple times. We haven't dropped it with the circuit in it because we only have the one, and potentially it won't break it. But we tried to, when we built it, we built it as compact as we could and tried to reinforce some of the walls. So what is the range of your uh, communication? Uh, the range of the Bluetooth, roughly, we tested out the 20 feet still had no issues with it. The climber should never really be that more than that far away from the radio itself when he's trying to adjust it. Did you experiment with something around instead of a visual display using auditory cues? Like you were Bluetooth for this and then no more. The radios actually have an uh, auditory cue built into them where the, you can turn on as a feature on the ground so when you're aiming it, it gives you a high pitched tone. The problem they had is the current system they use is not a high enough like the range of the 